Here are my top 10 things to do in the Florida Keys. So when I was planning my trip in the Keys, I honestly wasn't sure exactly what to expect. I wasn't sure if there was gonna be mostly adventure, mostly relaxation, or you know, just a really strong feeling of late night rowdiness and kicking back, drinking some beers. But the truth is you can experience all three of these heavily. And I really did myself, which for me created such an amazing experience for the Keys. So that's why I am starting off this list with the Florida Keys Brewing Company in Isla Mirada. And it perfectly combines and blends that adventure, relaxation, and a bit of just drinking beer and letting loose a little bit if you catch my drift. Now this brightly, very vibrantly colored uh, establishment will instantly make you feel like you're somewhere tropical. Head inside, get a drink, but the true magic is going to be the beer garden located just behind the establishment. Here you will be surrounded by lush green plants. You can see some flowers and I saw like a little gecko or a lizard. So if you're just coming in from out of the area or you're heading down from Florida, either way, it'll truly give you a great idea and perspective of the culture and feel that the Keys provides. Now obviously, being that we're in the Keys, you know, a series of islands that are surrounded by water, water is going to be a heavily prominent theme and activity that will be linked in with these activities. But the next one might surprise you a little bit because I would highly recommend for your number two to just venture out on a sandbar. And there are many different ways to go about this. So what I did is I went to Anne's Beach on Isla Morada and it was a nice quiet little um, patch of sand with trees surrounding and we just waded out in the water far, far away from shore, much further than you could go at any really deep water and you just hang out and see the views around. But the ultimate way to go about this is to take a boat a little bit further where you can have some sandbars that are almost a mile away from shore. You can do this at Whale Harbor Sandbar off of Isla Mirada. If you're lucky enough to know someone with a boat or set something up, you can just hang out on the water with white sand on your toes and beautiful blue water surrounding you. Have some drinks, kick back, and just soak up the good vibes in the Keys. Now, if you plan on driving a little bit more south from the upper keys to the middle lower keys, the next thing, number three, is going to be inevitable for you, which is to head over the seven mile highway or seven mile bridge, excuse me, on the overseas highway. You're gonna pass over miles of beautiful blue, pristine water. Some of the prettiest you'll ever see, especially if you're lucky enough to drive on a sunny day. And this bridge will lead to some of the most blue water and best beaches at the keys that you can find at so if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please do me a huge favor and just scroll down and click the subscribe. Through my analytics, I am able to see that 99.1%, gotta get that point one in there, of all my views and watch time is coming from people who are not even subscribed to the channel, which is pretty much every single person, except for my subscribers. I love and I see you guys out there. If you really would consider clicking subscribe, it would be awesome. I'm close to monetizing my channel. I just need to get to 1,000 subs. That's all for my little ad break. Let's get back to the video. Number four, which is Bahia or Bahia Honda State Park. Now the word has gotten out. This is one of, if not the best beach or series of beaches that you can find in the Keys. You have lots of white sand, so you don't have to worry too much about feeling crammed in like sardines. And the water is nice and shallow to a point and very blue, turquoise, that aqua, gorgeous color that you've dreamed about when planning a Florida vacation. So make sure you hit it up, have some time to relax and enjoy the water, but also venture a little bit further away, right, right by the beach, but you can go on this old abandoned bridge and get a nice advantage viewpoint of the water and everyone below. It really is an amazing thing. You have to do it, guys. You have to do it. Now, remember that relaxation I was talking about a little bit earlier? The perfect way to do this is indulge with some sweets. And what better way to do this than enjoying the local delicacy, the famous key lime pie. Now, there are so many different places to get this across the Keys, but I would recommend checking out the cafe down in Key West, which is absolutely phenomenal. Cheers. 
It will make your dreams come true. Unsurprisingly, the best key lime pie I've ever had by far. There's nothing better than ending a nice, you know, sun baking day with something sweet, creamy, but it is magical. It's wonderful. I would fly back just for more key lime pie in the keys. No joke, guys. Now, life is definitely about balance. So while it's important to relax and adventure, you also really need to live it up, which you can definitely do in the Keys, specifically having a nice night out on Duval Street in Key West. People here know how to relax, have some good food, enjoy the sun, but also have a really good time. And you should definitely have a shot at that as well, because along Duval Street, you really have a perfect opportunity to hop from establishment to establishment, checking out some live music. So it's a lit night, guys, live music, and we are going up the stairs. Going to some dive bars, you can even go to the club, or just go to and get a little, you know, something to eat and just watch everyone else going about their business and really having fun, which is the whole point of vacation, right? So I really recommend hitting up Duval Street and just hopping around, checking out everything you can in one wild or relatively tame night. It's up to you. Well, I'll, I'll let you make that decision up to yourself, but you should definitely check it out. <laughs> Now, if you have the time and the dinero, let's be honest, things in the Keys can be a little pricey, guys, then I would highly recommend checking out or going on an all-day water adventure somewhere in the Keys. Now, I personally went off of Key West with Sebago Water Sports, and I had such a freaking good time. Now, the things that you can expect to do on these cruises are things such as snorkel at a coral reef, which I did, and waters even bluer than Bahia Honda State Park, guys. Blew me away. You can go jet skiing, which I did for my first time. A lot harder than Alex. Parasailing, which was so much fun and just a really great way to see all of the surrounding area and the blue, blue ocean off of the Keys. And it was about $160 for the whole experience, but what it also includes is lunch and a light breakfast, but all you can drink beer. So hey, if you don't enjoy any of these water sports, you don't want to go snorkeling, it should be pretty a damn shame, let's be honest. Have yourself a, a, a little competition where you try and see how many beers can I drink to make sure that I get my money's worth. How many beers do I have to drink to make sure it's $160 worth of beer? Please don't do that, that's just a joke. You might not make it off a boat. And if you're not seasick already, as we both were a little bit, then uh, let's just say you'll be uh, going overboard to feed the marine life with some of uh, some key lime pie that I mentioned earlier, potentially. But highly recommend it, guys. It was so much fun. Now the next thing on the list actually really surprised me because it was terrible. Don't do it guys, it was horrible. 10 out of 10, don't recommend. No, obviously it's on the list, so it blew me away and I really wasn't planning on doing it, but this thing that I'm hyping up so much is kayaking through the mangroves. And the mangroves are little patches or big patches of these sort of trees and plants that grow in the salt water. It's right off of shore and you can explore these different canals that weave in between these trees. and. The main reason I would recommend this is, hey, it's really beautiful, although it doesn't have the clear blue waters that you've dreamed about. What it does make up with adventure and wildlife encounters. So lots of different animals might be living around these areas because they're secluded. Some of the mangroves that have fallen down might provide little habitats like coral reefs. But what I actually got the experience was running into a manatee that swam right by my kayak. and you can uh, hop off of your kayak and snorkel around the area to see what can be discovered. But either way, it's a lot of fun. You can explore these little canals, these little areas that are tucked away in the Keys and really have a great adventure. Now, since we were just talking about encountering wildlife, the next place, the Blue Hole Pond, is one of the best places to have a good chance of encountering some wildlife that you might only see in Florida. So this is located on Big Pine Key, which is sort of the middle lower key area. And it's a little watering hole that a lot of animals gather around, such as the famous tiny key pine deer, which are literal walking bambies, guys. So it's pretty unreal to see a full grown deer that can be smaller than some dogs that we might see, you know, just walking down the street. And what you can also have a high probability of seeing are alligators, because alligators are freshwater animals, as you might know. I, I believe so, don't quote me on that, but uh, I, I wager five bucks, not anything more than that. Either way, uh, these alligator will be swimming throughout the pond, and I was lucky enough to see a relatively small Florida alligator, but never seen one in the wild, guys. It's totally different than seeing them at the zoo. 
such a fun experience and I can't recommend it enough if you're interested in seeing wildlife. Now, after talking about seeing alligators in the water, who's ready to take a plunge into it? Now, we're not gonna be doing this at the Blue Hole Pond, but the next thing on the list is so much fun. It's a little bit of adrenaline and adventure, and it certainly isn't something you'd expect to do in the Keys, but either way, I highly recommend it. Now, I would recommend checking out the Jumping Bridge located on the Sugarloaf Keys, which it's a little bit remote, it's a little bit hidden. You can definitely find it, but this is an unusable bridge for cars. People still walk on it, of course, and it has a perfect height to jump into some warm water. So you can test yourself a little bit, but it's not so insane, it's not so high that you have to worry about potentially ending your trip in the Keys in the hospital because, you know, you ended up like one of these, uh, these fails I'm showing for you on screen right now. <laughs> Give it a try, unless you're absolutely terrified of heights, then still do it. Man up. You can do it. I know I said this was a top 10 things to do in the keys list, but I just want to put a little bonus out there because I really want to emphasize, take advantage of this. Number 10 and a half, 11 bonus, what, honorable mention, whatever you want to call it, is to snorkel as much as you can in the keys. Many of these destinations that I've listed or activities, you can snorkel. So it doesn't really make sense to add it on its own, but again, if you don't have an all day water adventure, try and snorkel a little bit around some of the state parks or maybe in the uh, mangroves where the visibility is a little bit limited, but you have the potential to see manatees, stingrays, maybe, I don't know about sharks, but maybe lobsters on the surface or uh, on the ocean, <laughs> on the water floor. You know, third time's the charm, guys. At, at least if you're a dummy like me. Either way, so much of the beauty in the Keys is to be discovered in the actual water if you wanna see the habitats and the beautiful, wildlife you can encounter in the Keys. So that's sort of the bonus, is to snorkel whenever possible, anytime there's water. Just take a little peek and see what you can see in there, guys. The Florida Keys, a truly magical destination. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please like the video if you like the video. Comment below if any of these things sound like a great thing to do. And please subscribe to see more travel content and Florida content in the future. That's it, everybody. Peace.